very impressed. <laughs> and uh, I had like a burrito bowl yesterday, but now I'm like, I think I might have to do the exact same thing and then just put some chips in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> But I didn't even know. That was awesome in such a cool way that you put it together. Yeah. And a healthier option, too, than probably the most traditional ones. Hummus and veggies, yeah, probably better than the nacho cheese sauce and all of that. But, you know. But it's very creative, too, because mm. something like that's so simple, you can make it very flavorful if you just kind of, like, spice it yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, that's right. That's just, the tar seasoning will do the trick. So if you have a gathering today, you're watching maybe one of the football games, there's an idea for you. Yeah, and, uh, you know, if you're maybe working on inside the kitchen on some food and maybe you also want to work outside doing some yard work because I'm sure a lot of folks have a lot more leaves on <laughs> yeah. the ground due to those winds we had yeah. yesterday. And while it was a beautiful day as far as temperatures, like on paper, we'll look back and I'll mention this day, you know, weeks from now and say, hey, remember that record breaking warm day we had in November? Everyone's like, oh yeah, but a lot of people may forget just how windy it was. And certainly the wind kind of limited the amount of yard work you could do, especially if it had anything to do with raking those leaves. Mother Nature kind of did that, but didn't really help you in the direction you probably wanted to clean up those leaves. But all in all, not as windy for us today. It's nice to see we got some more sunshine working its way into the area across the board. A little bit more cloudy out to the east where we're continuing to see this front kind of linger a bit. But we are dealing with some much cooler weather working its way into northwestern Ohio this morning. We we'll also still have a few showers that we want to show you guys here. Again, this is mainly in southeastern Ohio. Pretty dry here in Columbus. We're not going to be dealing with any more rain, nor do we see a whole lot. This front was weakening as it was moving through. Brought some very light rain across the area. And here we are seeing those showers still tapering off to the south and east. Might see a little bit more rain kind of pop in and out. Nothing of which it's going to last longer than maybe perhaps 5 to 15 minutes. And we could see moving up closer to Nelsonville there. Maybe seeing a few sprinkles down in Athens over the next couple hours. Other than that, not a whole lot of rain in the forecast from now all the way up until perhaps Thursday, where it looks like things will be pretty dry. And honestly, things are pretty dry out there, so it would be nice to see some of that rain. But again, not the case for us, although we are dealing with the cold air that's associated with the system, pretty much lining perfectly along I-71, where we're seeing the biggest changes from the northwest to the south and east. Here's what it feels like out there. A lot of folks waking up temperatures into the 60s, 62 degrees here in Columbus compared to 52 in Delaware, 55 in London. How about 46 in Kenton compared to 66 in Athens? So as easy as a 20 degree temperature change, depending on where you're at this morning. So a lot of places where you're looking at a lot of sunshine this morning, northwestern Ohio, you get the sun sooner, longer, but you're also dealing with cooler weather. Temperatures will be hanging out in the 60s for the late afternoon, perhaps near 70, closer to town, low to mid 70s in southeastern Ohio. Winds will be light out of the southwest going into this evening. A bit breezy to start, but we will start to clear out as we head into tonight and calm down. But also that cooler air, it'll continue to build in. 45 degrees for our low. Tomorrow we're going to climb in the low to mid 60s, still above average, but we are going to be looking at some big changes coming our way. The coolest day of the week is going to be Tuesday, warmest on Thursday, sunniest. We got a lot of sunshine in store for us, but that looks to be the first half of the week. And then wettest weather returns for us on Friday. Now we are going to continue to see temperatures fall a little bit further going into early next week. Pretty chilly going out the door for tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, even Wednesday warming up as we head towards the end of the week. But we're also dealing with rain on Friday. That's what's going to stick out to you. But then also much colder air, perhaps the coldest air of the season thus far. And it's going to be here for more than just, you know, a day or two. So some big changes our way just in a matter of a week going from a record warm day to unseasonably cold as we head into the following weekend. Brittany. Ross, thanks so much. Well,